We've got Rebecca on the line next. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. So your father-in-law passed away in November 2015. Yes, that's right. And you've got a five-year-old who, who still cries every night, um, looks at the stars and, and thinks about him. So really not, not yes. moving on from this at all? No, she won't eat certain foods because Bumpy doesn't like them. She'll only eat other foods because Bumpy did like them. We've oh. made memory jars with her. She sees the stars and she starts to cry. Mm. And we don't know what to do. She just misses him. Yeah, I, I saw when you spoke to us initially, you, you said that you, you've been told she will get over it. And I have a big problem with that yeah. piece of language yeah. specifically. We don't get over it, we learn to manage it. We learn to manage grief. We learn to enter into a relationship with the fact that we have lost someone and how it works beyond that point. Um, so, so just watch that. Like, there's, there'll be no getting over for starters. So don't sort of set yourself up to fail in that respect. Um, but also, she's expressing her grief. If she goes to bed and she's crying, she's upset. I've got to be honest, it's a good thing that she is showing anything. When you contrast that to the call before where he's not given anything, yeah. I'd want to see some emotion from my child because it kind of lets me know where they're at. Mm. And the child will want to see some emotion from us because it lets them know that we're in the same place and there's a safety in that. But also the, the, the fact that the, the picture um, that um, she takes to bed of him instead of a teddy is the picture smiling. Yes. It's a smiley picture. Yes, and he's holding her as a baby. Because the thing is that, that he never made her cry mm. and he would be horrified if he was making her cry now. So, so, so I'm sure that what he'd be saying is, you must be happy, you must be happy. Yeah. I've got a smiley picture, take me to bed, I'm smiling, look at the stars, they're beautiful. And make Every, it more know, of a positive thing. It's much more thing, of a positive thing. Memory. You can remember him, remember him as long as, uh, forever. Mm. But remember, he, he would be sad if you remembered him in a teary way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just last year, I said, we, we often try and work out what's going on with our kids without doing the most obvious thing. Let's ask them. Ask your daughter what specifically is making her sad about granddad and just see if she gives you any information, if you can elicit any information that, that might help you to realise, yeah, it's absolutely naturally, or whether there's something that actually is quite easily rectified. Does she need new pictures? Does she want a picture on, on her wall above her bed? It can be very simple sometimes, but if we don't look for the answer, we can't find them. All right, yeah. thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thanks thank for you your, your calls, calls as well. Thanks, yeah.